was where you are now and how you do it. So just uh, ah well, what well, uh, I don't remember the exact date now. A couple of weeks ago, I've been battling with some uh, what I thought was hiatal hernia uh, symptoms, and uh, came home on Wednesday afternoon and uh, just didn't feel right. It felt a little more than what it should have been, and uh, got on the phone, called a friend of mine, and wound up in the hospital and. Did a heart cath and uh, ended up having uh, five blockages to it, 100%, and three at 99 and 98. And uh, so was transported then to St. Thomas here in Nashville. And uh, well, I went uh, through five uh, bypasses. And uh, I've been out of the hospital. Uh, this Friday makes two weeks I've been out of the hospital. And I've done, done really good, man. I, I got no complaints. It's been. Uh, I say easy. I don't know about that, but I've been I've been very fortunate. Not had any setbacks so far, and not had any real bad pain. Uh, just you know, trying to take it easy, taking it one day. It seems like every day is different. Uh, every day you feel a little different, but uh, doing good. I'm very, very, very blessed. Now I heard you telling Greg about. Did you was Mike at the hospital? Yeah, he came. Yeah, Mike. Tell, Bo, tell me what Mike Bo, me, me, and him, me, me and him's always had this thing going on about our health. You know, he's always well. One day you're going to have the big one. I know you'll have it first. We got we all we've always joked about that. And so I don't know how he found out that that I they took me to the hospital there in Gallatin where we live. And of course there they're not set up to do you know major open heart. They told me that they would do a heart cath and if it was a stent they could do that and they would do that immediately. And so. Uh, once I did the heart cath, I found out how bad the blockages were. Uh, they started all this, you know, lights and sirens. He's got to go now, get him in route. And as they're wheeling me out, Mike's uh, standing there right where the ambulance is going to be, I guess. I don't, I'm well, on my he back. He was coming in with me, and the nurse said, Well, there's only two people that could come in with you, and which one of them was my son. And I said, Well, these are my sons. And she said, Oh, okay. <laughs> and Mike's like, well, I didn't know I looked young enough to be your son, but uh, Mike's a respiratory therapist, and so uh, when he sang with us, uh, he knew a lot of medical stuff, and so I told him, I said, come back here, listen to what the doctor's got to say, I said, and then explain to me in simple terms what we're facing. But they weren't given any time. I mean, they right. were trying to get me en route yeah. immediately to get so, done what needed to be done, and so... I looked up and saw Mike, and I told him, I said, man, you're not going to top me. I'm going to top you. I said, <laughs> I said, they don't have a helicopter for me to ride in. And the guy said, the only reason you're not in a helicopter, yeah, we don't have one, or you would be. And so we were, we laughed about that. I actually had lunch uh, yesterday, and uh, we laughed about all our ailments and how everything's happened and come down. And, yeah, uh, realizing you're getting older. About how quickly you think you might be back on the road. How's that going to work out? Not really sure yet. Uh, I, I see my surgeon and the cardiologist on September the 8th and then see what they've kind of got to say. Uh, obviously, the big thing, right now getting around and going is no problem. I don't, I don't have wind to sing at all. I try every day in the shower. Uh, but uh, m I may try to go to convention depending on what they tell me when I see the, everybody the 8th. Uh, obviously, won't be around the convention hall that much, but you know, just being there, being visual a time or two, and maybe singing a song or two, just seeing how I go. I mean, I got several weeks yet. Uh, if I can keep going like I feel, maybe, uh, maybe it'll pan out for the good. The hardest thing right now, obviously, would be sleeping on the bus. Uh, but we're modifying some of our back lounge in our bus to sleep up in a recliner. That's what I've been having to do for now. And so if we can get all that done, that's that's what I'm shooting for personally is to be back by convention. Sure, sure. Now did you get, I know that we were getting inundated with calls. The hospital was just, it sounded like inundated with requests trying to find out how you were doing. The day of his surgery, um, when at seven o'clock I had to go, they give you a phone. And so the uh, people in the operating room call you every hour and a half to update you on you know how he's doing and all this. So when I went to get my phone, um, the lady asked for the patient's name, so I told her, and she said, oh, she said, the celebrity. And I said, what are you talking about? She said, oh, she said, we can't answer the phones fast enough, she said, with people calling, trying to find out. So they finally had to pull him out of the system. And so they were telling people, you know, well, he, he's not in our system. And they're like, well, we know he's there. And they're like, 
well we're not saying he's not here he's just not in our system and um, so finally it was probably about 12 30 they came and they said okay in the last two hours we've had over 430 calls and said we're going to have to do something so uh, we have this website called caringbridge.org and uh, said we need to set that up and that way we can tell people that's where they can go to be updated on the situation so that's what we had to do and um, gosh it was within probably an hour of setting that up that there was over 1500 2000 people that had hit that website and so we were like okay and so we've tried to keep it um, updated and every day just uh, one update not overdue but um, so we had to do that and the hospital was like we've never had anybody come in here and this happened that he, he was shutting the phone lines down and we're like oh boy okay so um, but yeah so I told him when he woke up uh, when we went in and seen for ICU I said you know you're a pretty big deal here I said uh, you've shut the phone lines down they've had to create a website just for you and all this and then I came home and come back down to earth now. 